Well hello everyone, it's Andrea and today I'm going to do a flip through of Santa's Christmas Grayscale Adult Coloring Book. This is by Ruth Sanderson. I've never actually done any grayscale so when I start my Christmas colouring in December this will be the, one of the first uh, ones I'll be using so it'll be all new and uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So. Now Ruth Sanson does have a YouTube channel, so she does um, some tutorial videos and flip throughs herself on there. I will leave a link to her channel uh, in the description box below, as well as an Amazon link where you can purchase this job. Just so you know that I am an Apple. Let me start that, but again, just so you know, I am an Amazon associate or affiliate, whatever you want to call it. So if you did purchase the book through the link, I would get a small commission, which obviously I would use to buy more colouring books. <laughs> obviously um so that's the front of the book it has got a mark on it because it's been sitting around for a while and there's the back it's got a few of the images on it so let's have a look inside so we have a, a colorist's name and the date uh followed by a wreath and here we have on this side um some information about the pictures some grayscale to coloring tips her, user, her, her link to her YouTube channel's in here as well. So, like I said, I will link that below. So, what I like about these is, to me, they remind me of some Christmas cards that you can get over here in the UK. And I love this style of, of art. I just think it's so beautiful. So, here we've got Santa at his workbench. And these are all one-sided. It is Create Space paper, so it's not the best. So, if you're using markers or... Uh, watercolours, although I wouldn't use watercolours on this because it's so thin, put a piece of paper in between just to stop it from bleeding through onto the next image. Um, but apparently Ruth recommends Prismacolor uh, premieres, but we'll have a look. At, I'll be watching some of her videos nearer the time. So we've got Santa at his bench. Santa just with his list and, and his mail from all the children. And he's got look, December 25th is circled. Then we've got a scene, it, this is such like a Victorian Christmas card um, in the UK of people skating on a pond. We got Miss Dormouse sitting, sitting wrapped up, that's like me on an evening. Curled up with a book on her lap. <laughs> She's only missing the cup of tea. Then we have a Christmas tree with all the presents underneath it and a nice little kitty cat there up at the back. This one is so like a Christmas card, this one. I love it. Little snowman. And then we got people going out for a sleigh ride. And look, it's a one horse open sleigh, so I'd be singing Jingle Bells when this is on. I am so going to have to order myself another Christmas CD this year. I've only got one which has lots of really old CDs on it. It's like got Bing Crosby and Judy Garland and Frank Sinatra, which is a fantastic CD. So I have to get that out and, and order some more. Because it's Christmas soon. And then we just have a sitting room and a fire and there's some presents and the stockings on the tree and a beautiful scene through the window with the Christmas tree outside. Santa's getting on his sleigh. He's all loaded up with the presents. I think there's going to be lots of Christmas singing on all the uh, colouring channels over over Christmas, over December. I know some of them have already started. So this is like an aerial shot, so it's like we're looking, we've got Santa's perspective and he's looking down on the snowman in the in the garden. Oh. And there he is again, Santa's sleigh. I love these pictures, these are fantastic. And there's somebody looking out, looking out the window for Santa. I so like, you know, like the Polar Express artwork. You know, I love that film. I love watching that film. And there's Santa at the top of the chimney. Ready to deliver his toys. And here's a Christmas tree and somebody poking their head around the corner. And a little kit. Kitty cat. I love this one. Santa's come through the fireplace. He's there. He's delivering the toys. That's so cute. Oh, that's a lovely one. That is so lovely and Christmassy. 
And again here he's putting things in the candy canes in the stockings and things like that, which is really nice. Oh, he's even got some in his pocket. That's so cute. And then again here he is putting a little drum under the tree and look, somebody's left him a mug of tea or coffee and some cookies. We always left sherry or port. We didn't drink sherry in our house. It was always like a glass of port and a mince pie. And there he is, he's back in the chimney to go back up to make his next delivery. And the cat's watching him say, who are you, mate? Where's my present? And there we are, Santa in his sleigh again. That's such a classic, classic Christmas card look. It's beautiful. And there's the front door, there's a little puppy in a basket. That is so cute. And here he is, Santa's sleigh has landed again and there's a little bunnies around the thing and a fox. All the little animals. And then there's just a headshot of Santa because you've got to have a headshot of Santa. So here is a bonus section of 12 bonus images. Now these are just repeated ones so if you've never done any grayscale like myself I might use one of these just to practice on to start with. And they're the same images but there's just 12 selected ones for you to do. So for instance, I might do one of the ones with Santa, just to see if I can get his skin right and his, 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 the red of his robes. Um, so yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably start practicing then this pretty soon so that I can crack on because I know like Anne over at A Call for Life, she uses her markers in them. I have the Touch 5 markers. So I might try them mixed with the Prisma colours. So yeah. So you do get a few of them twice, so you can redo them. And there's a bit about the, the artist Ruth at the bottom. Back of the P, at the back of the book. And then on the back it just shows you some of the other books by Ruth. Including her fairy tale Grace Girls, which I do want. But I see how I'm gonna get on with this one first. So that is Ruth Sanderson's Santa's Christmas Grayscale Adult Colouring Book. Um, I'm really looking forward to having a go in this. I'm nervous about having a go in it, but I'm really looking forward to it. So, like I said, I'll leave a link to both Ruth Sanderson's channel and a link where you can buy the book from Amazon UK in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If so, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and don't forget to share. And if you're not already a subscriber, click the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of all future videos because there's lots more colouring stuff to come on my channel. And I'll see you all soon. Bye!